And now, the right to happiness. I am the past, invisible, unseen, and yet the living, whispering thing. You've heard my voice on sleepless nights when the shadows seemed filled with nightmare forms and phantoms, ghosts of yesterday. You've heard my voice and you've had to listen. Even as Carolyn had to listen, lying awake last night, staring into the darkness, living again, the past. One scene etched indelibly in her memory. Facing a man with a gun in her hand. Threatening her former husband, Bill Walker. And in a struggle, a shot. A shooting that was an accident. But the state has called it murder. The state has tried her for murder. And all through the night, a woman has lain in a half-darkened cell, realizing that a jury is still deliberating, still trying to reach a verdict. A woman has waited for and yet feared the moment when the veil of darkness should be lifted and night should merge into day. The sun has moved up in the heavens now. Its rays stream through a barred window to cast an ominous pattern on the floor of her cell. Some time ago, a tray was brought in. Her breakfast, food left untouched. She paces back and forth. Her face haggard, her eyes weary with lack of sleep. The sunlight has failed to dispel the phantoms, hasn't it, Carolyn? And you know that I'm still with you as you relive the past. Oh, I've got to stop remembering. Remembering, remembering. Oh, no, Carolyn. You'll never forget. Bill's face, that moment after a shot, that moment before he fell to the floor. Can you ever forget how he looked when he said, Carolyn, no. Carolyn. Oh, no. I didn't kill him. I didn't shoot the gun. It just went off. She meant to kill me. She meant to kill me. No. Bill's statement before he died. He was lying. Perhaps he wasn't, Carolyn. Perhaps he believed what he was saying. You threatened him with a gun. How could he know you didn't mean to use it? He was twisting my arm. Hurting me. If you hadn't gone there with a gun, it wouldn't have happened. It was all next. But what will the jury say if their verdict is guilty? It won't be. It can't be. Prison. Who knows? A lifetime in prison. Your child born in prison. No. What chance have you got, Carolyn? After everything the jury was told about you, your mother, Bill, the past. You could tell what they were thinking of you. You could see it in their eyes. I made a mistake. A terrible mistake when I married Bill. I realized that when I came to hate him, yes, but... But not enough to... He's dead. What was my fault? The jury will place the blame, Carolyn. The jury heard all the evidence, and now... An eye for an eye. A tooth for a tooth. A life for a life. Justice. Justice. That's all I want is justice. Mrs. Kramer. Mrs. Kramer. Yes? Yeah. You're going to court now. To court? You mean... I was told to take you to court. And the jury has... Yes, the jury has reached a verdict. Come, I'll go with 
you. Step by step down the long corridor. Step by step past the cells. Into the elevator now. Moving down level after level to the underground passageway that leads to the court building. Walking at the matron's side, your arm manacled to hers. Into another elevator, up level after level. A door opens. A corridor stretches down to the courtroom. Now at the entrance, the bailiff meets you. Your handcuffs are removed. You step into a crowded courtroom. A murmur swells up as you enter. Order, please. Order in the court. The judge is on the bench. You see your attorney seated at a table. Your mother, Fred Minturn. And just before you take a chair... Your eyes fall upon a face among the spectators. Dwight. You stare at him for a moment. Almost force yourself to turn away. And now, the door of the jury room opens, and twelve men and women file out to take their places in the box. their faces, but you see only masks, you begin trembling, your breath quickens, your attorney reaches over to place his hand on yours, and now all eyes are directed upon the judge's bench. The judge turns to address the foreman of the jury. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, have you reached a verdict? We have, Your Honor. Will the prisoner at the bar arise and face the jury? Your attorney gives you his arm as you rise to your feet. Your mother's face, Fred Minton, Dwight, men and women of the jury everything blurs in your eyes it it all seems unreal something that can't concern you and yet it does you're the central figure in this drama Carolyn and in a moment you'll hear the verdict from the lips of the foreman of the jury you wait and time seems to stand still while a wave of fear and uncertainty sweeps over you. As yet, the verdict is unknown, except to the twelve men and women who watch you. Not even I can know it, for I'm the past. A moment or two into the future, and you'll know, Carolyn. You'll hear words that must affect the course of your entire life. Right to Happiness serial originated from NBC's Chicago studios on May the 21st, 1942.